Hey, greetings. Going to do another cheap heat video here. Going to feature uh, the music of Switzerland. And the reason why I'm doing this is a reason. There's plenty of good cheap heat from Switzerland. But there's a reason why I'm doing this. My friend Olaf from Switzerland sent me a care package of cheap heat from Switzerland. Some of it from Switzerland, some of it not. But um, anyway, Olaf, I felt like I owed this to you. Um, I'm going to talk about the music of Switzerland. Uh, mostly jazz, uh, a little bit of prog. Um, it was actually kind of challenging finding cheap records from, from Switzerland. It was, it was not straightforward. I'm going to straighten out the camera here. I'm going to try to anyway. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Ah! Now it's falling. All right. <clears throat> the cheap heat of Switzerland for Olaf. Thank you, Olaf. Um, you sent me a care package. You know who you are. <laughs> you're a fan of these ridiculous videos. and um, But you're not a ridiculous person. You are a good person. <laughs> and thank you. This is my way of showing my appreciation. Um, anyway, uh, he, Olaf just out of the blue said, hey, you said you didn't have an album and I have this. And can I send it to you? And, and by golly, he did, along with a bunch of other great stuff, including some John Zorn CDs that I've been looking for forever. And so thank you, Olaf. And this is my way of, of uh, thanking Olaf from Switzerland. I'm going to do a cheap heat from Switzerland. So let's get down to it. What we're listening to, and this is mostly jazz, a little bit of prog, but mostly jazz. A lot of collectible albums from Switzerland. A lot of collectible, mostly progressive rock albums from Switzerland is what I found. But um, there, is some, there is some cheap goodness coming from there. So without any further ado, Here's what we're listening to, Spiro Giacopuzzi. And this is a, uh, a drummer, um, Rito Giacopuzzi, and a uh, guitarist, Laszlo Spiro. And they have um, American piano player Art Landy aboard, as well as um, uh, Dusan Prusak on bass. Anyway, it's a really cool record. Uh, kind of crosses the borders between uh, fusion and free jazz and modal sort of modern jazz. I like this record a lot. I got it from Cadence North Country back in the day. It remains cheap. Um, it's a pretty cool record and it's on a fairly cool label. Um, a lot of really good music on this Planisphere label. Um, also Swiss based. Unfortunately, most of the Planisphere records I have are not cheap, <laughs> but this one is Spiro Giacopuzzi, and the record is called, does it have a title? It's called Frontal. Anyway, that's what we're listening to. Um, Walter Hoffman on saxophone also. All right, so. There's several artists responsible for a great deal of cheap heat coming out of Switzerland. So I'm going to talk about all their records. The main guy is George Gruntz. George Gruntz. I always love just saying that, George Gruntz. Anyway, he passed away a few years ago, but he is uh, possibly Switzerland's uh, premier jazz uh, artist. Um, an amazing keyboard player, uh, an amazing advocate for the music. I believe he was uh, had clubs, he had put on festivals. I mean, he did it all, recorded a string of records for uh, MPS Saba, the great German label. Um, most of those are fairly expensive. Um, some of them are very forward-looking, boundary-pushing uh, sort of music. Um, but he did a number of, uh, he had a fusion phase, and uh, he did a number of really interesting sort of jazz rock fusion records, uh, some of which are still really cheap. This one, um, Eternal Baroque, is a good example. It's got Kirk Kress on drums and uh, a bunch of really great players. Joe Farrell, um, Eddie Daniels, who lives here in Santa Fe. Hi, Eddie. And uh, uh, Wolfgang Schmidt on bass. So it's got Passport guys on it. Um, it's it's kind of cheesy, but it's kind of fun. It's the kind of record that um, the, the DJ sampler crowd would really dig because of Kirk Kress's drums, I think. But um, it's kind of a cool record. I was always surprised that this is still really cheap. I've had several copies of this. But um, yeah, there's some definite cheesy moments. Uh, it's all cover versions. Um, they do a lot of sort of, um, they do an eclectic mix of jazz standards and uh, rock tunes and also classical music. You know, 
Um, yeah, it's just an unusual record that you can get for next to nothing. Lots of electric keyboards. I like it a lot. It kind of reminds me of Focus in places. In other places, it's very cheesy and silly, but still a fun record. Grunts also fronted a band called Piano Conclave. They recorded two records, one on MPS, which is really expensive, and then this one, which is inexplicably very cheap. It's just as good. So listen to the lineup. Gordon Beck, Jasper Vantoff, Fritz Power, Marshall Solar, Solal, Joaquin Kuhn, and George Grunt. So six piano players um, playing. And it, it, it's very orchestral, as you might imagine. The, uh, the, um, the uh, rhythm section is Henri Texier from France on bass and Eric Bachtragel on drums. And he's a great drummer. He was in a Swiss band called Magog that um, now I kind of regret neglecting, but I don't think their albums are cheap. If you ever see a Magog record, look on the back. Hans Kennel, Fritz Bachtragel, and a few of these other guys. Really good stuff, but not cheap, unfortunately. They did a record for on Japo and another record on uh, Evasion. It's really worth picking up. Anyway, getting back to this, this is just a crazy space fusion excursion. Uh, Mini Moogs, ARP 2600s, uh, uh, Fender Rhodes, um, just all kinds of harpsichords, pianos, just nutty with the keyboards. I really like this record. And for some reason, this one's really cheap. I think the one on MPS has Alphonse Muzan on drums and it's a little funkier. Maybe that's why it, the price point is higher on that one. But this one, get it. <laughs> oh, and Wandry Studio Passport uh, art on that. <laughs> okay. Mm. Grintz also had a big band and I'm not a big band fan. But Olaf sent me a couple of these records and I have to say, if you're gonna listen to big band stuff, if you like, like the Don Ellis, um, Gil Evans sort of modern big band thing, uh, lots of electric keyboards, lots of electric guitar, um, interesting arrangements, cool originals. Um, George Gruntz led a, uh, the George Gruntz Concert Jazz Band, and it's definitely uh, worth checking out. Um, this is a compilation, I think, the first 10 years. And uh, lots of electric keyboards on this. And great players, too. I could list them. I will. Phil Woods, Disco Gojkovic, uh, Jigs Wiggum. Jigs Wiggum. Now, there's an interesting player. I'll have to get into some of his stuff. Daniel Humer on drums. Great Swiss drummer, Daniel Humer. Um, Jimmy Nepper, Charlie Mariano. And the list goes on and on and on. These are all-star bands. Um, and there's a bunch of them. Grunts was very prolific. Recorded for... Um, Japo, he recorded for MPS, and uh, this is another one that's worth getting, uh, the George Grunt's Concert Jazz Band, listing the personnel, Benny Bailey, Franco Ambrosetti, we're going to talk about him. Here's another one, I picked this up at Amoeba some time ago, whoops, getting a little excited here. Got this from Amoeba, this is on um, ECM or Japo, I can't remember which. Anyway, this is 83. Theater, also a very good, very very good. If you if you're amenable to big band at all, these are those are great records, all of them. George Grunt's Concert Jazz Band, another Swiss artist. It's done a string of records, some of which aren't so cheap anymore, but some of them which are. It's Franco Ambrosetti. Now I've got several CDs by him. He's remained active well into his 80s. I don't know if he's still playing. This is called Movies, and uh, I love this record. It's so good. He does uh, movie themes on this. Frank Lambrosetti is a flugelhorn and trumpet player. Very interesting guy, too. His dad is a wealthy, um, a wealthy person and also played music. And, and there's videos of them both playing, you know, fronting like a band with Kenny Clark and people like that in it. So it's interesting. It's an interesting history. He's also got a brother, Flavio, who plays keyboards. This record, however, um, listen to this crazy, crazy um, lineup. Franco Ambrosetti on trumpet and flugelhorn. John Schofield on guitar. That's why I bought it. Uh, Jerry Allen on piano and synthesizers. Uh, Michael Formanek on bass. Daniel Humer on, on drums. And Jerry Gonzalez on percussion. I have to say, the, the, the version of 
Um, God, what are they doing here? The Magnificent Seven is completely off the hook. But what a great record this is. And the spirit of fun, you know, captured in the front cover photo is pervasive throughout the record. It's really a great record. And um, I think the CD might have extra cuts, I'm not sure. But uh, they did a couple of these. This first one's the best one, and I love it. Still play it. And it could be had for next to nothing on the Enja or Enya label, E-N-J-A, which I believe is German, not Swiss. Ambrosetti did another fantastic record for Enja, which got issued in the U.S. on um, Inner City. And I have to say, this is one of my favorite jazz records of all time. It's called Encounter, Close Encounter. Franco Ambrosetti Quintet with Benny Wallace. And I've talked about Benny Wallace in these uh, videos before. Great personnel on this one, too. Benny Wallace, George Grunts on piano. Actually, he plays a lot of Rhodes on this, I believe. Mike Richmond on bass and Rock Kalam Bob Moses on drums. Fantastic session. Just super intense all the way through. You can't miss with this one. Uh, it's just one of those records that um, people just don't know about. And it's by a couple of Swiss guys. And uh, it's just fantastic. I can't say enough good things about it. Some really heavy stuff on this. Um, yeah, they do a Joachim Kuhn record uh, song on this, Rumba Orgiastica. That's just like, <laughs> it lives up to the title. Another great Swiss musician um, who's collaborated with George uh, Gruntz extensively, but most of whose records are not cheap, I have to say, is Pierre Favre. And uh, I, had, I had a bunch of his stuff pulled because he's a favorite of mine. But uh, unfortunately, kind of marginally not cheap. This one was the only one that um, qualified as cheap. He recorded some records with his wife, Tamia, who's an amazing vocalist. And they're just percussion and vocals. So they're pretty spacey, pretty out there. But this one remains pretty cheap and it's actually my favorite one. I had a bunch of them at one point. Anyway, this is Blues for Pedro Arcano is the name of the record. And it's on a small label, I believe. But uh, it's really cool. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's on T Records. Anyway, very spacey, very cool, kind of free, but also really spooky and interesting. Anyway, Pierre Favre, if you've seen anything by him, get it. Possibly my favorite Swiss band is the band Ohm. And it's because... Um, Two guys mostly, and the other guys are great. But Freddie Studer, favorite drummer of mine, tremendous Swiss drummer. The Swiss uh, really produced some great uh, drummers over the years Pierre Favre, Freddie Studer, uh, Daniel Humer, and all. Uh, Mark Hellman, I believe, is also Swiss. Um, and Christy Doran, who actually started out in, in, uh, in Ireland, I believe, but grew up in Switzerland and remains there. And he's, he's Brother and sister also play music, and uh, uh, his sister has an amazing band. I don't think those records are cheap, though. But, um, um some of those records are still cheap, some of them not. This is their first one. Um, it's all, all their stuff's on J-Bo. Um, this is by far the most out one, I think. It's called Kira, Kira Kuki, I think. Anyway, cool record. This is my favorite. It's got a real volcanic sort of Mahavishnu-like energy to it. If you ever see this, and this is fairly, even though it's an import, it was fairly well distributed in the US. Um, really, really, really worth getting. If you like heavy guitar, jazz rock, um, it's killing. Uh, saxophone player is Urs Gruber. He's still around, he's still doing stuff. So is Christy Doran. And uh, bassist Bobby Burry, also still around, still doing stuff. Anyway, Roshanaha is the name of this record. Tremendous, volcanic, Mahavishnu-like, killing uh, jazz rock with sort of a free jazz edge. Follow up to that, they recorded a record with uh, Damum Ramal, who had just been released from Weather Report. This is a little funkier, a little bit more laid back, a little bit more trancey, I would even say. Also well uh, distributed in the US and probably the cheapest of all the Ohm records. There's been several groups called Ohm, by the way. There's a Spanish group, there's a US group called Ohm. Um, I bet you there's many DJs named DJ Ohm or Ohm. 
no H, just OM. There's a group, great group called OHM, OM, as in the unit of uh, resistance. But um, this is a Swiss group OM. Again, with the core personnel remained intact and stable over the years. Uh, again, um, a little bit more funky, a little less crazed than Roshanaha. And I think this is their final record, Cerberus. Now, this has got a very strange track on it. It's almost like an um, environmental recording that takes up a good chunk of um, side two. But the rest of it uh, gets back into the jazz rock kind of sound. And I like it a lot. This one's a little harder to track down. Might be a little bit more expensive. The cheapest are the ones with Dom Umramal and uh, Roshanaha. It. But the first one and the last one, a little bit more expensive. None of them ever came out in the U.S., all imports, but all fairly well distributed because they're on J-Po. Anyway, this is a really cool record. I like it a lot. A lot of prog coming out of Switzerland. Um, and my favorite prog record from Switzerland has the Swiss keyboard player Patrick Moraz on it, called Main Horse. He later on joined uh, Yes and then the Moody Blues. And he was in a band called Refugee as well. So if you like Prague, lots of Swiss Prague out there. This is really cheap in its American form. It was released on Passport in the US. The import's tough and it's got more music on it. It's got an extra track that's listed in the track listing in the US copy, but does not appear. And it's actually worth going out of your way to try to track down the import. That said, at the price point, it's worth just getting the U.S. copy on Passport. It's a, it's a really cool, heavy prog record, um, sort of like a more proggy version of Deep Purple. Um, definitely rocks out and uh, some crazy, crazy uh, keyboards on it. Uh, great drumming, actually, too. Anyway, Main Horse, really cool Swiss uh, progressive rock band. Here's some lesser known Swiss stuff that I've got to mention because it's so good. This is a band prosaically called Fusion, and their only album, Transfusion, is still pretty cheap. It's from the early 80s, and it's a uh, guitar, bass, um, reeds, electric piano, and drums, so it's quintet. And uh, it, it's tough to find on Discogs because there's like 9,000 things called Fusion. But um, if you look up the the, uh, the bass player's name Rollo Studer, S-T-U-D-E-R. If you look him up, you'll get this. And um, this has orchestral backing to it. It's like a, it was like a commissioned piece and they got it on record. And it's absolutely wonderful. Really nice, um, sort of post Ma Vishnu inspired uh, jazz rock. I like it a lot. It's a really great record. Uh, most of these guys, I had never heard of before. And they also um, recorded a record aside on, um, on a radio special. The other side was, um, uh, I think it was a CM5 with uh, Longino Parkin Parsons on it. So it's expensive. But um, that record, the fusion side of it, this band is, is killing. Unfortunately, that's gotten really expensive. It used to be cheap heat. That was the first thing I pulled, but it's like a $30 record now. Anyway, this is not. This is like a 10, 20 plus postage. Worth getting if you're really into the jazz rock. Tough, tough to find just because of the generic name of it. This band doesn't have a generic name, Shivananda, and it's a really good jazz rock record. Um, again, um, some of these guys wound up playing with uh, Andreas Vollenweider, the new age harp player. But, um, but this was an earlier effort that's definitely in the jazz rock fusion realm. And they sound a great deal like uh, Weather Report plus guitar. If that's, your, uh, if that's your wheelhouse, you gotta get this. They did a couple of records. This is just their first one called Cross Now. Um, they did a couple more, I think at least one more that I haven't heard. But on the basis of that, that's on the want list, you know, it's a pretty cool record. I like it a lot. Shivananda, Cross Now. Good Swiss jazz rockers. Finally, if you're into out jazz at all, Ornette Coleman-inspired quartet jazz, 
with no chordal instruments, getting into the free zone. Uh, there's a lot of that in, in Switzerland. And there's a great band called BBFC. They're just uh, initials of the players. So it's Bovard, Bourquin, um, Francioli, Francioli, and Clerk. Clerk is the, is the drummer, Olivier Clerk. Leon Francioli is the bassist. Daniel Bourquin is the Bourquin, is the saxophonist. And Jean-Francois Bovard is the trombone player. And they were very prolific in the late 70s, early 80s, recording a bunch of really adventurous, uh, free-ish jazz records that um, are all quite good. And I have to thank um, my friend Olaf for sending me uh, one of these. It was this one with the sacrilegious cover <laughs> that I love. Um, I didn't have this one. Thank you, Olaf. Anyway, all these are great. If you like the whole Ornette Coleman, uh, Don Cherry inspired free jazz thing, this record's a little different. This has got some electronics on it, and it's very unusual, Souvenir to Italy, and it's a little bit more expensive than the others. But um, none of these came out in the States. They're all imports, but uh, all worth getting. The live one's really good. But if you have an inclination towards free jazz, definitely check these guys out. Um, some really adventurous, cool, and, and somewhat difficult music, you know. I've been asked to turn these off, especially this one. <laughs> anyway, Switzerland, get into it. Some good stuff, some good cheap stuff out of Switzerland. And I hope you enjoyed this, and, uh, and, and be well. <laughs>